literally got down here to uh, Southeast Phoenix. That's what I call this whole corner. Like Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, Tempe, this like, if you look at the map, it's kind of in that lower right corner. So I wanted to get through Phoenix and get through traffic on time so I could start my first job when they opened. So we got that couch removal done. Got down here early though, did some emails, working on some business planning projects and things. Had a half hour call with our marketing company project manager and she was super helpful making sure that all different things were in order. Uh, we got a lot of irons in the fire right now, so excited to release some of those on YouTube here in the next month or two. And I um, got two more stops to make before I do a dump run and then help out a repeat customer before I head up to Cave Creek. So busy day, life of a business owner. It never stops checking three, four, five email accounts throughout the day and text messages and bidding jobs and current customers, repeats. I mean, there's just so much to do. Uh, feeding the machine of Google. And if you're a business owner, you know, you know the hustle. Uh, I can't imagine doing anything else though. Let's get back to work though. Time to haul out some stuff in here. It's a bit dark, we got lights. I don't know if these things work. No, not today. Gonna haul away three box springs, some couple pieces of a sectional, some loose trash. All right, next task is pull these two couches, or one couch, one love seat. Looks like they got recliners, so trusty Dolly's gonna make it make it movable. As you can see, I can move this with one hand, spin it in circles. Very easy to move couches on these four wheel dollies. If they have big rubber wheels, it makes a huge difference. Those cheap plastic ones don't roll as good, but uh, yeah, just takes a nudge and starts it moving. Yeah, 150 pound couch, pretty easy to move around. It doesn't make it any easier to throw on top of this pile, but I'll get it in there one way or another. Just getting down here to Weinberger and Gilbert. Kind of entertaining watching people unload their trailers and you know dump trailers are pretty straightforward but these these other kinds of landscape trailers a lot of folks will hook up a chain to them and uh you know run the strap underneath their junk to the front of the trailer and dr try to drag it out try to pull away from one of these poles and yank all the junk out the back it's pretty pretty entertaining yeah what a great facility. So I heard this company just got bought out by Waste Connections. I'd love to know what the purchase price was. Who can research that and make a comment to list the purchase paid price uh, for Weinberger as a company? Waste Connections bought this company. If you do some researching, like I was trying to find it, Waste Connections has been buying lots of companies um, it seems like they're in Canada as well. At, at least that's what it appeared like. Uh, it's pretty amazing how much money they seem to have. I don't know if they're one of the larger ones globally or what. Probably another scammer calling, I gotta go. Hi, this is Garrett with Junk Removal. Is this scam likely? Is this scam likely? Oh, it came up as scam likely. So I wasn't sure if you were a, a customer or a scammer. I hung up. Super handy having a button. I had to stop for some food. All right, shout out for Chipotle and Gilbert. Super nice, good location. And a tip, if you get a bowl, put the lettuce underneath the rice and then it doesn't make a big mess when the lettuce like is on top, it kind of gets everywhere. And then to get a tortilla on the side. So you take like the last third of your bowl and throw it in the tortilla and then you got a burrito. Kind of nice. Just got refueled, ready to work some more. I'm headed north uh, a few miles to load up the last few items from our property we cleaned out over the last few weeks. And they, their helper or mover just failed to remove these last handful of items. So we're actually gonna help them out and do that for them. We don't do moving, we're not insured for it, 
but we're just trying to lend a hand. So I'm gonna take care of this for them as we head back up north towards Cave Creek, and then we'll have a few more jobs up that direction. Hopefully the rain holds out because I don't have a cargo trailer. Again, I'm not a mover. So normally we just remove things and don't worry about what happens once it gets in the trailer. But we're gonna do our best to protect their items, their belongings, because they're keeping them. Hey, so let me fill in a few gaps of what's been going on today. So my customers have been working really closely with me, loading the trailer and moving stuff around their garages while I've been working. And so I didn't necessarily want to film a big video and give a narrative right in front of them, um, just out of respect for their privacy and what, what they're doing. So anyways, help that customer and Gilbert load up like half of our trailer. Um, I didn't stack anything really high because like more than half of that, I was helping them move to their new home as a favor to them. And then a small portion of it, um, I'll either donate or resell or, you know, try to repurpose. And then once we got to their new house, I unloaded all that. And then we filled up the trailer real full. I even got stuff in my front seat. A lot of furniture and things that, again, can be donated, repurposed, resold, given new life, right? Uh, she didn't have room for it, but we do, or we know people who do. So then the rest of the trailer, we filled up with cardboard and packaging. So the trailer is stuffed. Front seat has uh, donuts and golf clubs in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go unload a lot of this stuff and then hopefully head out for a few more jobs. We just unloaded all the good stuff out of our uh, trailer and helping a buddy get rid of his old swing. So I'm gonna toss that in next and head to the dump. It's a light load. It's only like 500 pounds. Cardboard doesn't weigh much. You know, it's hard getting in here on the wall, having to back around that corner, pull in here real tight, not hit your neighbors. <laughs> it's always nice when the people next to you are patient, so they give you time to get backed in where you're supposed to be going. We got two more jobs to squeeze in before the sun goes down. Yeah, I'll check out the size of this plane over here. It's doing loops. That's a big old plane. Headed to our next job for repeat customer. I'm guessing he's got a ton of cardboard. He said, make sure my trailer's empty because it's about double what he had last time. So we'll see how much it fills up. And if I still have time after that, there's a real small cardboard pickup for a repeat customer in Cape Creek as well. So see if I can get them both done in the next two hours. Well, actually next hour and a half. Got a third of a trailer of trash in this wire rack. Uh, a lot of this is food waste and things that have gone bad. Mixed in with some party stuff and flowers and boxes. Got that wire rack, I think we put that to use. This trusty carts come in handy. It's actually a brand new one. I ended up getting rid of the old one. I, I returned it actually, it broke on me just after a few months of use. This button right here decided to snap off one day. So got it at Costco, they got a good warranty. So I just returned it to them and they didn't complain and replaced it with the exact same one. If it happens again, I think I'll actually put a bolt through this and it won't be able to break anymore. Well, it's been a super good day. Sun's getting ready to go down. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I have one more job to do, but I got a family commitment. They need to make a two by six. So I'm gonna wrap it up, wrap up the work day now, 5.30. Started at 6.30, so 11 hours. That's not bad for a Wednesday. I'm sure grateful to be busy working in January. A lot of people slow down in the winter. This year we have not slowed down like we have in past years, but it's our third winter. So it's not like we're brand new anymore and we've done a ton of work marketing to keep our brand in front of people. 
and that's not cheap. It does come at a significant cost for time to invest the resources to put together content all day long every day, including videos like this, but also money in ads and different paid campaigns. Um, we spend a lot of money on that. And so we're staying in front of customers. We're getting a lot of repeat business that's helping tremendously. Look at how nice our customers are. Check this out. Two cases of sparkling water over here. Just awesome. We, we meet some of the friendliest people on the planet. So often you can walk around thinking that a lot of people aren't very nice. And unless you're meeting a lot of nice people, I see why somebody might think that. But in my experience, most people are wonderfully amazing. Maybe one out of a thousand's kind of grumpy, but the rest are great. And uh, I heard a guy on the radio say recently, if you can't find a nice person, then be one. I think you can find a lot of nice people. Um, certainly our customers are. And I think it helps that we're doing them a, a service to remove things that are annoying to them or are in their way that they don't want anymore. So maybe they're motivated to be nicer to us, I don't know. But we just meet some of the best people ever. It's really cool. We appreciate you watching these videos and uh, leaving comments. Don't forget to make a guesstimate or if you know the real numbers, drop it as a comment below. As far as what did Waste Connections pay Weinberger to buy their company? I just think about Weinberger as a, a epic brand here in Arizona. I can't imagine how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dumpsters they have, um, let alone a landfill and two transfer stations and just remarkable company. I really want to meet the owners or, or, or at least the Weinberger family, um, you know, meet the sons who are carrying on that name, even though Waste Connections have bought them, I'd love to interview them. So if anybody has a connection to that family, drop that in the comments too. See you on the next one.